So starting off with brainstorming solutions, this is one of the methods that you can use for generating solutions to the problem that your community partner has posed for you. So when you go into a brainstorm, you really want to get a team together, just try and think of as many different ideas and really look at wildly different ideas. So you can either take the idea someone else had and try and build upon it or take a tangent from it, or you can really try and look at something really blue sky. Now this phase, you really want to avoid being critical of other people's ideas or of your own. You're not trying to vet those ideas out. You're really trying to inspire creativity. So don't worry about exactly how feasible it is at this point. Really look at expanding that idea space. Come up with as many different things as you can. And this is where you really want to say there are no bad ideas. So don't, don't get into worrying about what's the best yet. Whenever you are putting out ideas, try and stay committed to the idea that you have. So you're looking to inspire other people to ideas. So if you put out that idea you think isn't a good one, maybe someone else will be inspired by that to put out an idea that ends up being a really functional uh, concept for your team. So try and help other people in your team feel safe expressing their ideas. Don't be negative, don't be critical of other people, but really try and build that environment of creativity. So this is a, one of the most fun parts of the design process to really come up with those new things. So I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of an example of this brainstorming phase with a team. Um, this is the, the ISBVI team, and specifically their magnifier project. So they're partnering with the Indiana School for the Blind and Visually Impaired to build a portable magnifier using an iPad for students who have low vision at their school. So they came up with a bunch of different ideas up on the whiteboard. So here you can see idea three and four. This is just a couple of examples. So whiteboards are a great use for this. You can also use things like post-it notes to write down ideas and be able to rearrange them in different ways. But the idea is just to get those rough ideas out, just enough to communicate the concept and move on with your teammates. So really try and get as many of those things out on paper or on a whiteboard as you can. But if you do them on a whiteboard, make sure you capture them, put them in your notebook so you don't lose them going forward. So just to recap on brainstorming, it's a really great method for um, collecting as many solutions as you can for your problem. It's always good to build upon other people's solutions to try and generate even more new ideas. And you really wanna save all of your decision-making or judgment for a later time. So this really should be a safe, creative space. So now it's your turn. So for this uh, piece of the module, I want you to stop and reflect on the idea generation activities that your team has done. Did you do brainstorming? Did you do some other method um, as a team to come up with ideas? Maybe just one person really drove all the ideas and it wasn't a team activity. So stop and think about those activities, how they were done. If you're a new student in the team and you aren't sure, feel free to look back at your team's notebook. And then write a one paragraph reflection, it doesn't have to be very long, about what went well and how could you improve that process for the future. How could you try and expand the space of ideas that you had to be really creative? And then verify that your team's activities are in your design document, and if they aren't, try and put in a synopsis or a summary and update that now.